it is. It's time, time for Say, say What? <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen, victory is ours. That's yes. right, the Jaguars defeated the Atlanta Falcons 23 to seven at Wembley Stadium in London. The defense showed out with two interceptions and four sacks with Josh Allen snagging three of those four. Trevor Lawrence went 23 for 30 with 207 passing yards and wow. one touchdown. All, all in all, the Jags played a truly complete game. All three phases turned out. It was pretty fantastic to get that win. And it was pretty cool. It I, was fun I, to watch. It was great to watch. It was, it was cool to watch the Jaguars play the way we thought they were supposed to play coming right. into the season. Right. You know, Trevor Lawrence <laughs> is getting the ball out in like under three seconds. The offensive line gives him plenty of protection. We ran the ball pretty effectively. Defense was phenomenal. You want to talk yeah. about showing out. These dudes were incredible this week. Josh Allen, like I said, three three sacks himself, two interceptions on the day. I mean, they made Desmond Ritter look like a chump, so it was pretty cool. <laughs> and then Calvin Ridley with with that touchdown there, that pass, that was amazing. That was a fun game to watch. And yes, then to set up a whole day at 9:30 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it's true, it's true. And so that that kind of sets up, you know, a perfect little segue here. So like, how did you watch the game? We went to our clubhouse. They had a late, nice little brunch for us there. It was yeah. a good time. But they did also stream. Where am I looking? Here we yeah. go. Um, the little Toy Story. That's action. right. So tell us about that because yeah. I think we told you guys about that on Friday that that would be happening, right? <laughs> That's right. So they broadcast the game normally, right? Uh, and then on ESPN Plus, but then they also had on Disney Plus a special broadcast right from Andy's room, right? So it was all Toy Story inspired. Mm -hmm. All of the players, it was it was in pretty much real time. There you go. You can see what they were looking like. There's Trevor going out in that pass. So Boom! Cute. He's going to hit Calvin Ridley in the end zone. Oh, wow. is that the, that's the scene we just saw. Too. Yeah, it's it exactly like, right. Oh, it's the very same one. It was really pretty cool. Uh, I actually didn't get to see the halftime show, but I heard that it was really phenomenal. You guys were texting me telling me how cool it was. <laughs> like in real time, it was pretty great. But that was pretty neat. I, I figured it was a success. Yeah, way to get the kids in. To yeah, it too, that not. was pretty cool. Oh, I that's dug fun. It. Yeah. Okay, and we have to talk about this too before we move on. Uh, a man has been arrested in connection with Tupac Shakur's m murder. Well, I don't understand how that can happen because Tupac never died. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good one. 1996, though. I mean, this is this is a long time that we've yeah. been trying to figure out what the heck happened, right? So authorities on the 28th, so last Thursday, arrested Dwayne Keith Davis, a.k.a. Keefe D, who previously acknowledged that he was in the car that did the drive-by shooting nearly 30 years ago. But since what? there were only conspiracies, like, around this, right, um, Nothing has ever really, no one's been charged for the murder until now. So that what? happened on Thursday. Uh, charged with a count of open murder, use of a deadly weapon with what? a gang enhancement. And they believe that Davis's motive uh, for Shakur's death was tied to Suge Knight's fight with Davis's nephew okay. in Orlando, and that nephew, Anderson. So uh, he should be going to court this week. We should be finding out more information. Uh, the document doesn't say that Davis pulled the trigger, but it does argue that he had a hand in the murder by right. being part of the group that conspired to kill the rapper. Interesting. So, huh. Did you ever listen to Tupac back in the day? Oh, my gosh, yes. Yes. Yeah? Changes was, actually, was always a fun karaoke song. I, I was more, I was actually more a fan of his of his acting career, actually, right? The movie yeah, he that did. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the movie he did with uh, with Janet Jackson. What was it? Poetic Justice. Mm, uh, that was a great movie. He did a, he did a great <laughs> job in that. That was awesome. All right, well, speak, you know, keeping the music yeah, theme. Let's keep the theme alive. And we'll keep you posted, of course, on that. But it is time for Jack's yes, Jams. Yes, it is. Yes.